So Sharon Osbourne, guys, is facing some fresh new allegations, and a lot of these guys are pretty serious. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's get straight into this video. Yeah, these allegations are very serious, guys. They're very serious. So it seems that CBS has extended the talks hiatus for yet another week after Sharon Osbourne was accused of frequently calling um, former co-host Julie Chen. For those of you who may know her, I assume you're doing the US and the UK. We don't know her as much, but she obviously is um, the host of Big Brother. Um, calling her um, slanty eyes, calling her wanton, and calling Sarah Gilbert, who likes girls, a fish eater. Um, but her publicist hit back saying she's highly surprised by the lies. She has faced major critique um, since a televised row with, with Underwood last Wednesday and has seen that these um, recent claims against a 68-year-old came from sources who spoke to journalist Yashar Ali in a week where the network announced it had, it had launched a probe into her on-air bust-up with co-host Cheryl Underwood. So, but several sources include former host Thea Ramanai and Holly Robinson have since alleged that Osborne has a history of racist language. Um, we've seen, you know, some of the stuff on The X Factor back in the day when she was there with Simon Cowell, Louis Walsh. You know, she has said a lot of stuff here and there about people, you know, gonna die, you're too fat, you're too there. She has had a kind of an unwarranted tongue, let's just say. And it's just pretty serious, the things that she is saying. In 2003, on two different occasions, Sharon Osbourne called um, Renee Tab, an Iranian-American talent agent, a Persian carpet... See you on Tuesday, basically. Um, after she falsely accused Tab of stealing jewellery and that Tab rightfully won at a raffle. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of different stuff and the fact that she's calling... Um, the fact that she's calling her... Um, what's her name again? Julie Chen. The fact that she's calling her wanton and slanty eyes, according to multiple sources, is pretty serious allegations that are now, you know, put up against her. She has done an interview with Entertainment Tonight, and she has said herself that she was blindsided once coming onto the set of the talk, that they've always had a pact that they would talk about things on a similar basis, that they wouldn't catch each other out, they wouldn't ask each other questions that they didn't prep prior before, and, uh, you know, the producers had their ways of doing things, and basically Sharon Osbourne was set up. That is a story, guys, that she is putting out there. Um, I do feel like, you know, there are multiple sources to support the fact that she has used a severe racist language to a Chinese individual, a black woman and a Persian lady. And it seems to be something that I'm not entirely surprised by. Again, if you know from X Factor, she has said a lot of weird stuff, but it seems that this stuff is coming beh up behind the scenes. This is what happened, guys, when you talk too much. Don't talk too much. Had she never defended Piers Morgan that day, had she absolutely ignored it and just said that, you know, he was silly or this or bypassed the question, none of this would have been happening right now. And I'm pretty sure that she regrets all of this that is going on, but it seems to be quite serious. And there's also now talks that she won't be, she will not be coming back to the talk. She's now allegedly lost her job because of these fresh wave of, of, of allegations. And it seems that things are now piling on top. Everyone now is going to bring up articles, allegations, all from 2004, 5, 6, 7. All of this now is going to come flushing back. This is how the media works. When they want to take somebody down, they will do it and in such a way where they'll bring every everything and everyone around them. I'm not justifying or defending Sharon, but that is how it works. And I feel like it's very unfortunate, but there was also a time for stuff. Had she never spoken about Piers Morgan, none of this would have come. The fact that you're calling people, you know, a uh, carp eater or, you know, slanty eyes or this, this, that, I just feel like it's very unwarranted. In a professional environment, people that you're working with are not going to like it. She has now played the narrative on Entertainment Tonight that she was the one that was set up, she was the one that was blindsided, and she didn't see any of it coming. I feel like this is a very careful narrative that she or her publicists are trying to impose because it gives her the victim state. And a lot of white ladies like to do stuff like this, that she was blindsided. Perhaps the story could be true. I wouldn't be surprised if that was true as well. But at the same time, it doesn't defend you defending Pierce Morgan and stuff, the stuff that he said about Meghan Markle, I think is absolutely ridiculous. But she's now playing this victim narrative and putting it very carefully on the front. The way she's displaying it in this interview, I find it to be very interesting. But guys, it's looking like she's not going to be returning to the talk. Some shocking new allegations about Sharon Osbourne. And yeah, we'll just see what happens from here. But it looks like, guys, she's lost that bag indefinitely. Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.